Director, we are going to prison. A very specific old prison built to house a particular criminal, the notorious geneticist Dr. Otto Odious. There's more than one patient, though. Odious has illegally cloned himself thousands of times. We understand his other crimes to be essentially victimless, sub-legal experiments on his copies, a spot of self-murder, and so on. His experiments have gone awry, and the authorities have called us to clean up the mess and, as part of a cultural exchange, give him to us as a researcher. Ms. Orion thinks he could be of great use. You're here! Yeah, I'm so excited. I've never actually met humans before. You people are so interesting. Uh, your people, I mean. Terrans, not like... Sorry, can we start over? Um, welcome to Oncatraz. We named it after a place on Earth, so hopefully you'll feel right at home. You guys like prisons, right? I'm Dre Norton the 42nd, the warden here, so you'll probably like me a lot, I hope. I'll introduce you to the doctor. Uh, he's exhausting. I have like five prescriptions and I still can't sleep. Silvio Galactica, I've heard plenty about you, oh yes. Enjoy the many festivities of Old Catraz. <laughs> It's a pleasure to join such a forward-thinking organization. Your Terran sensibilities can't be half as crude as all this old banality. My people take issue with some of my methods of scientific inquiry. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking about something else. As both a renowned geneticist and physician, I don't think you'll be disappointed in my work. Unlike some of our patients who may take issue with my bedside manner. Oh, this coat is rather comfortable. So, yeah, that's him. Thanks for taking this situation off our hands. Seriously, we don't know what he did, but all the inmates are coming apart like a crumbly cake. He's been experimenting on his many incarcerated clones and, well, you'll see for yourself. The station is on lockdown and for your safety, you're going to have to make do with our prison doctors and any consultants you've brought with you. No outside hires, okay? Oh, hopefully you can figure out what's going on around here and keep all the clones alive. Or most of them, anyway. Thanks, human people! I've been working on a device that you might find handy. This is Cerebral Rehab. A device which is capable of entirely rebuilding the mind of a subject according to your own preferences. It's remarkably safe. I've tested it on myself. From a certain point of view. <laughs> I imagine we'll be using it to benefit patients' health. To that end, I've added a memory inhibitor so they don't recall the challenges of their treatment. I wouldn't look inside while it's on, if I were you. It's not very pretty. <laughs> oh, what fun we'll have together. Director, I've analyzed the design and it does actually seem rather ingenious. We could put it to use immediately, in fact. The first of the prison's wings awaits. Let's get cracking.
At your command, Director. And we're away. I'll try to keep an eye on Odious for you. Okay, A wing is opened up. Due to our lockdown, I can't open up the other wings until you've gotten control of the situation in this one. Good luck, humans! Ah, yes. My research on glacial cortex would have already been complete if that Kratonous Warden hadn't interfered through curing my hollow, inferior clones. We can finish my work together. I shall begin my studies. Bit of work, Director. You know your way around a frozen old brain. Most interventions I've seen haven't been quite so clean. I suppose a hammer was a rather poor choice of tool. But then again, so was the old in question. Good gravy, Director. Critters are swarming the station. Is this the result of another cloning experiment? Things are going quite well, Director. Maybe, how are things on the floor? Um, they're okay. But I took biometrics for one guy before and after his treatment, and I don't think he was the same guy anymore. Oh, I wouldn't mind that. Some of my patients receive additional help, depending on their condition. I assure you, they're right as rain. Just some minor changes here and there. Okay then, so long as they're happy and definitely still alive. Oh, under any rational definitions, most certainly. thing. Are the clones actually, like, still them? Mary, if you start shippathesiusing at me, I will simply turn off the call. I don't know what that means.
Deploy the fruits of my research for you, Director. machine of yours. Let me see. Allow me to demonstrate the power our ridiculous laws preclude us from wielding the transcendent science of cloning. Beautiful, isn't it? The endless potential of genetic power. Do try to remember which ones aren't real. It can become confusing. <laughs> Sorry, I something stuck in my throat. Well, he seems to be enjoying himself. Lovely to have enthusiastic employees. Oh, wow! You're even better at this than I thought you'd be. To be fair, we're not super enthusiastic about the health needs of mastermind criminals, but you do you. I'll send over some genetic replicators so you can begin cloning the staff yourself. I do hope you enjoy them. Try not to replicate my mistakes. Also, I'll send you some of my galactically patented cobalt suppositories. You can use them to wipe the memories of your doctors, letting them gain expertise in a new room. As for why I have pills that cause retrograde amnesia, well, dog training. <laughs> Hello, Galactica. It's me again. Stop Ooh, that one's new. Always love a good trade. Uh, don't forget to collect your... Here's an orange key card. You can use it to open up whatever wing of the prison you want. Except Wing X, which has its own issues right now. Hey, you guys are human, right? I can't actually see any of you when I'm on the call. Absolutely, sir. Full, normal, Earth-grown human beings. Later, Galactica. I'm off for a spot of cheese. in there are weird electrified our tasers don't work on them which was an unfortunate thing to find out static charge 
quite an ingenious energizing of living flesh. I had a notion that, with a light modification of the blood vessels, bodies could be turned into batteries. Imagine the unlimited power! <laughs> I'm sure we can research this condition to our mutual satisfaction. <laughs> oh, my apologies. I just remembered a very amusing picture from the Exonet. The text on it was most salacious. Why do you Galactica. <laughs> Noshers stalk your dungeon. Well, hospital. Beware! Pick that up just for you. A fine invention. Good 
meet you later. Love it here. I may need to retrieve the protective suit I use for birthday parties. I haven't the first notion of what that could possibly mean, Doctor. But yes, you do seem to have successfully turned your odes into breathing Tesla coils. Rather impressive, actually, if you think about it. Oh, I'm very, very glad you think so. A swarm of vomitongs has found a way inside the prison. I guess security isn't as tight as they think. Maybe. Word up the zapper. On it! Static charge has been an abject failure. The subjects expired well before Morse uncovered the killer. Another episode ruined. Still, if you want to make an outlet, you have to kill some clones. <laughs>
Hello! It's me again. Mary, did I hear a distinctly terrified scream a little while ago? Yeah, it sounded like someone died during a treatment. But then they came out of the door looking fine. And Mr. Odious said he likes listening to experimental noise I music think while I he works sometimes. The right thing. Well, that sounds perfectly credible to me. Keep up the good work, my lad. You've cured them? Oh, thank you. Getting zapped 20 times a day is really bad for your respiratory system. Also, Dr. Odious showed me a picture of him holding up a board that said, Clone more, so... I think he smuggled you more of those illegal gadgets. I'll just pretend I haven't noticed. <laughs> knew your kind were smarter than people said. Here, take another key card. I've got a bunch of them rattling around in a jar somewhere.
it here. Vomitungs detected inside the station, Director. Search basically impossible. Oh, let me know if you find my baseball cards, okay? I also lost a snow globe of one of your Earth cities at some point, but I'd rather not think about that one. Good luck. I'd love watching you work. It's soothing. Not in a weird way. Ah, Mercurial. I have fond memories of those experiments. It turns out that flesh can be transfused into liquid metal. Back to the node for me, Galactica. Unfortunately, the results are debilitating and not nearly as cool as the movies. Ordinarily, I'd have disposed of them, but, well, limited access to my tools, you see.
were making with the mercurial victims they've been inordinately useful for contraband acquisition the warden fortunately is an imbecile as are all who resist the designs of the great Otto Odious. yes i took his precious baseball cards his looting of humanity's valuables is an outrage, Director. An outrage I have already avenged. Galacticare? Oh, am I happy to see you. I've been struggling with some, uh, personal issues again. Mr. Bansig? What the blazes are you doing here? Oh, well, uh, there was an advertisement for a special pill I wanted to try. But it said I had to come here first, because it was experimental medicine. Yeah, so I'm rather glad you ran into us first. Come along, Mr. Bansing. We'll straighten you out again. Oh, thank you. I'm just, you know, I'm sorry this keeps happening. You sure cost pants a lot, huh? Sorry about your toxin problems, Mr. Bansing. We have lots of it in the vending machines if you'd like. Not particularly helpful, Mary. In fact, if he goes anywhere near the machines, tase him. Okay. We're already in a prison, so I won't even have to go anywhere when they arrest me. Mary, have you noticed any particular increase in the number of corpse disposal routines you're running? No, I don't think so. But my memory isn't storing correctly whenever I go into Mr. Odious's room. Huh. Hello there. I hope you're all well. It's easy to forget your body isn't supposed to feel like a dumpster. Thanks so much, guys. I don't know where I'd be without you. Yeah, vibrating in an alleyway, I expect. Do take care of yourself, Mr. Bansig.
know what you're up to we should have hired you a lot sooner would have saved us from having to put up with dr. chuckles right then back to the road for me <laughs> dr. chuckles as he so crudely and often puts it has managed to provide you a few more genetic replicators <laughs> Drat, I see what he means. Great work! Oh, you're always doing great works. Kind of like that Stonehenge thingy you guys made all by yourselves, right? So cool. Also, here's another key card. This one's a doozy. The biggest problem is the anger sites. If you think Odious is dodgy now, just imagine 30 of them with constant seething rage. Like a chimp. Nonsense. Even under the effects of an anger sight, I contain what I am for the sake of these other mundane ingrates. My clothes, simple though they are, 
are no exception. I will confess that this has been a challenging creature to study. But with your help and resources, we'll come to understand it. In order to develop countermeasures, of course. <laughs> oh, nothing makes me quite so jolly as protecting the innocent. Laxites has made its way inside the station, Director. Having a gander. Void.
Angersites are quite the creature. Of all the parasites I've studied, they may be my favorites. Absolute, seething, paralytic hate. Random spikes of pure rage. A most curious adaptation. I may have some intriguing concepts for you, Director. If you ever want to get into the weapons business. Director, a large flock of craft tools has found its way inside the station, which is quite lovely. I am, however, concerned by what that might imply about old Gutrez's security situation. Director, I know it's a pain to babysit the needs of organics, but you will need to place some vending machines. to catch up with the news. <laughs> Vomitungs are stalking your hospital. It's worth getting rid so of them if you want your patients to keep their work. food down. I've always loved humans. I knew an ode who spent time hanging out on Earth, actually, before the whole first contact thing. He tried taking some kind of a balloon for a joyride? I don't think it went down well. Really shouldn't have. That and, uh, the electric car guy. That, uh, that was a mistake.
Dr. Odias, I've been analyzing the biopsy results for these parasites and, well, I'm rather alarmed to find they contain distinct sequences of your genome. Oh, how curious. I wonder how that got there. <laughs> oh, I do enjoy a hearty chuckle over the mysteries of biology. Yes, don't we all? Uh, regardless, they're technically relatives of yours, so I suppose congratulations on your reunion are in order. your jobs. I wonder if it has anything to do with that time we went over to your planet and did a bunch of little experiments. Oh, and here's a key card. Have fun. Let's see that one. Smashing. Also, I'm pretty sure Odious managed to sneak you a couple more genetic replicators and I can't actually stop you from using them, so... Have fun, I guess. Uh, guys? Hey, there's a little bit of a problem in the last wing. We've had some of the sickest clones restrained to med beds for their own good, but somehow, and I'm not pointing any fingers here, the security in their cells is powering down. You've got like a couple of minutes before they start getting released into the last wing. Do you think you can handle it? Should I start the self-destruct sequence? Oh no, no, that'd be stupid. Would it? You're good humans, talented humans, very smart, handsome humans. You can do it. I believe in you. The clones in that wing were left in a rather poor condition. Some creatures simply don't have what it takes to endure the fullest of my experimentations. I'd hoped that forcing outbreaks of clonal cysts would allow me to research the degradation of the old genome. And grant our species a new chance at virility. Legions of healthy, strapping young old springing from the vats to reclaim the rightful place in this miserable galaxy. <laughs> Just a force, you understand. Hey, humans. The first Cystiodiuses should be coming through now, and we'll be shoving more through the shaft every, like, 30 seconds. There's a lot. Like, a lot. Just do what you can, okay? I don't think we have enough body bags for all of them. Director, we appear to have an infestation of vomitungs.
another success in the war of infinite health care. These may be mutilated shadows of the true Doctor Odious, but I do have a bit of a soft spot for them. Hello, Galactica. It's me again. I'll chuck it in. Just for you. See you around, space. from the black infinity of death than I imagined. You are rather impressive, Director. I should very much like to meet you in person. <laughs> I have a personal collection of human house music, which I'd very much like your opinion on. <laughs> uh, sorry to intrude, but I actually wouldn't mind performing that review myself. I have rather a collection of them on Blast FM, if you're curious. Oh, yes, that, that would be fine. Splendid.
What magnificent work! What effectiveness! What purity of... Oh, wow! Wow! You monkeys have done such an amazing job! Maybe you people do have wizards. I'm sending you some bonus credits from my own account to say thank you. Not for any... tax... reasons. Hello there. I hope you... Oh, you did it! It's over! I'll never have to listen to his stupid cackling ever again! I guess there's all the clones, but... Well, to be honest, we lost track of the real odious years ago. I don't even know what I'm talking about, sorry. Oh, if you're leaving, don't worry about any remains. We'll flush them through the recycling system when we get the chance. Proteins, protein! Oh, thank you so much! Oh, I really am a massive fan of you humans, you know that? So hairy and weird looking, but you create all these amazing things like unicycles and ska. Oh, you're the best. Well then, that's the lot for us. I didn't think our modest little healthcare enterprise would bring us to an old penitentiary, but it's good to see that Galacticare's reputation is getting around. A resounding success as always, Director, and a genuine pleasure. Mazarian's instincts about Dr. Odious appear to have been correct. I'm sure he'll be a valuable member of the team. We'll have to make sure he doesn't start cloning himself again, or building an expeditionary force of old stormtroopers, but I'm sure we'll manage. Whether you choose to stay or barrel onwards to our next venture, Medi and I await your command.